This week on Small Boat Big Ocean TV, we got the Howie T in some back bay action for Atlantic Croakers in Southern Delaware. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. everybody, welcome back to another episode of Small Boat Big Ocean TV. This week, we're putting the Howie T in again at the Indian River Inlet Marina, just south of Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. When we got the boat launched and got out on the water, we found that the tide was really not moving too much. So to burn up some clock, I decided to make a run out to the mouth of the inlet and see if there was anything doing out the jetties. And when we got out there, we were lucky enough to find pretty large pot of dolphins had a, a ball of bait fish pinned up against the south jetty so we got some good photos and got a chance to see some dolphin activity and uh, used up some time before we headed back in uh, inside the inlet back to the bay to my one of my favorite croaker spots. When I arrived at my one of my favorite croaker spots, I noticed that we had a northwest wind, which was coming pretty stiff, probably around 10 knots, and it was going to make drifting along the rock wall pretty difficult. I'd have to zigzag back and forth because the wind would push us in towards the rocks. And then I'd have to back up and we'd drift a little bit further and the wind would blow us back into the rock. So it made uh, fishing and boating at the same time a little difficult, but we did manage. And one thing we noticed was the tide, even though it was moving at the mouth of the inlet, wasn't moving uh, too strongly yet, the backside of the bay. And as Thomas is showing us here, we had to pick through a bunch of spot, um, waiting for that current to really pick up and the croaker bite to turn on. I know what you guys are thinking, what am I doing tossing these things back? And I gotta be honest, I wasn't expecting to be catching spot. Uh, and in hindsight, I know I should have filled the live well. And actually, at some point in this video, you'll see me go down and open up the seacock and uh, start filling the live well. But unfortunately, about that time, the croaker bite turned on and we didn't catch many more spots. So uh, Thomas tossed, I think, four or five back. And, uh, you know, again, in hindsight, it would have been nice to actually hang on to those for bait or at least freeze them uh, for some chum at the pot saver on this, this month for mahi. All our croakers were in the nine to 11 inch range, which is perfect eating size. Uh, and Thomas was happy to catch, and I was happy to put fish in the cooler.
There we go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yep, I'll measure them. There he is. Small one. He's off. Drifted lots of times, probably at least 40 drifts. Uh, spent the whole afternoon in this one spot and did pretty well. We caught enough poker for a meal, but towards the end when the tides started to slow down a little bit, we started to get back into the spot. So we decided that uh, spot. we baked in the sun long enough and uh, decided to call it a day. Yep. If you're enjoying Small Boat Big Ocean TV, please give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know how I'm doing. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you all next episode.